Hey everyone, I'm Amy Connell. Thanks for tuning in to Lessons to My Teenage Self. This is the shortcut you need to thrive in your physical, mental, and spiritual health. As a personal trainer and nutrition coach, I'm passionate about empowering you to find your best version of health. Each week, we dig into one topic I wish I'd known as a teen. And this is a topic that honestly, I probably didn't fully appreciate until I was Um, until at least in the last 10 years, and maybe even less. That lesson is there are no good and bad foods. And some of you are thinking, wait a minute, that's totally different than what I hear from the people at home or my coaches or my health teachers or TikTok or anything like that. But yes, I am here to tell you there are no good and bad foods. So I won't take the time to break this down right now, but from a nutritional standpoint, when we talk about what food does when it enters our body, we absorb it. And then there are three different macronutrients that all foods are. They're either carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. I'll talk more about those in another episode, but all food is some sort of combination of those three things with the exception of like water and then alcohol is kind of a a different, um, it's not really a macro, but it's not really one of those three things. When we ingest food, our body digests it and breaks it down to be utilized throughout the body. And again, I won't get into too much of that. But after it is broken down, it is all treated as energy in our body. Now, some of that will go to repair our muscles like protein does. Some of it helps to provide hormone support like fats do. And then some of it provides energy to our muscles, to our bloodstream, to our liver and other in our brain, especially. So when we ingest food, it's all broken down and goes to our body to be used in a lot of different ways. Now, Some food has more of what's called micronutrients. And so those are things like your potassium and your magnesium and your calcium and sodium, which are also all electrolytes, by the way. Um, And they have, and there's iron and there's all kinds of what I call mighty micronutrients that go with that. Some food has more micronutrients than others. And so some food is more nutritionally dense than others. Those with a lot of micronutrients are more nutritionally dense and will provide your body additional benefits. However, once it's broken down, it is all treated the same in your body. So that is a super high level lesson on physiologically what happens with our food. But let's talk about more of the mental aspect. When we start labeling good and bad on our foods, maybe we think that the nutritionally dense foods are good, and the not so nutritionally dense foods are bad, then we start to take that and internalize it to ourselves. What do I mean by that? Well, when I have a, say a soup full of chicken and rice and vegetables and all kinds of things with lots of nutrients in it, and I say, oh, this is a good food, then what do I do? Well, when I eat that, then I'm going to think, oh, I'm a good person. I've had some really good food today. On the other hand, when we have, let's just say either chocolate cake or cheesecake or potato chips or something like that, and we say, ooh, this is a bad food because it doesn't have the micronutrients in it because it's not as nutritionally dense, then we also start saying, essentially, I'm bad. And we are not bad. We are the same person no matter what we eat because food does not have morals. There is no hierarchy. All food gives us energy, whether it's pizza, pickles, or pineapple. All food gives us energy. And we are not a better or worse person because of what we ate. In fact, there is something that's called the halo effect, which essentially says when we eat these nutritionally dense foods, and maybe when we have something that we consider a quote, good food, like maybe a salad or something like that, we tend to eat more than what our body needs because we think, well, I've been really good. Or 
then we'll think, well, I've earned a piece of chocolate, or I've earned some Oreos, or I've earned some ice cream or something like that. You don't have to earn anything. You can enjoy it, savor it, and then be done when you're satisfied. When we put words like good and bad on our foods, we subconsciously do that to ourselves as well. And let me tell you something, you are good. Your body is good. God created a good, good person and body in you, in your original unique body. So let's stop thinking of the foods that he gives us as good or bad and stop thinking of ourselves as good or bad when we eat particular foods. Now, again, I do want to emphasize not all foods have the same nutritional value. So I do advocate eating nutritionally dense foods, not because they're good, but because they will help you and me feel and function better in our day to day lives. I love the verse in 1 Corinthians 10 23. It says, I have the right to do anything you say, but not everything is beneficial. I have the right to do anything, but not everything is constructive. You may eat anything you want. And I know this may be counter to what you have heard. Your body will take what it needs. Your body will utilize that energy. Now, if we override our body's signals and continually eat foods that don't honor our well-being, continually eat foods that maybe make our stomach hurt or our head hurt, or we don't sleep as well, then those foods are not beneficial. Those foods are not constructive to us. And it's up to us to consciously make decisions to choose the foods that make us feel good. But we do that because we feel good, not because they are good. And as you learn things in your health classes or from your coaches, or again, from TikTok or Instagram, what do you do with that? This is my recommendation. Take the nutrition information that works for you and leave the rest behind. You do not have to implement every single thing you learn or hear, especially if it does not honor your well-being and especially even more if it stresses you out. God gave us food to fuel our body, to make our body feel good, to enjoy with other friends, not so we have to get stressed about if we're, what we're eating is good or bad. So be at peace with knowing that God gave you the ability to know what works for you and what makes you feel and function well. So what's today's lesson? Enjoy all the foods God gave you. He did not give us good or bad foods. He gave us foods to give us energy so we can do the things that he is calling us to do. Okay, that's all for today. Take today's lesson and go out there and live the life God has for you and your amazing original body. Thanks for tuning in today. Do you have a question you would like answered here on the Lessons to My Teenage Self podcast? If so, go to the show notes where you will see an anonymous form you can fill out and that question may be answered here on the show. Also, if this show is valuable to you, could you do one of two things that are enormously valuable to me? Number one, share it with a friend. Just take a screenshot, send it to her, or you can go to the show and send it straight from there. Also, if you can provide a rating and review, particularly if you listen to your uh, podcasts in Apple Podcasts. Thanks again and see you next time.